Hi, this is Bruce from Gilware. Today's topic, smoking hard drives. Uh, you know, hard drives in a computer, if you've ever felt one, like computer top, right, uh, they can get quite hot. Uh, one of the reasons inside a uh, hard drive, uh, there's these platters, they're spinning hundreds of times a second. I mean, they're, they're flying. And so you got that and you got read write heads moving back and forth. So the, the friction caused by these, these platters spinning creates heat inside of here with the air, friction with the air, heat. So that becomes hot. Uh, that's why you see a lot of computers, they have a heat sink in there. That's part of it to help dissipate the, uh, and all the fans help dissipate the heat um, on there. Uh, but also the heat comes back here, the PCB or PC board, control board. It, it's, this is what essentially provides power to the drive. Uh, you got your connections here. Um, from your, you know, your motherboard for your power supply connecting to here. This is what power on there. Now in the old days, uh, if your board went bad, let's say you had a power surge, fries your board, all right? In the old days, you could take off, find the same model board, get that board, put it on there and fire it up. You'd be able to get the data. Well, things are more complicated. Uh, we've evolved as humans. And so now you can't simply do that. Now, you can take the board, but there's a ROM chip on there that has to be transferred off. And the ROM chip has the specifics to this drive. Each drive is actually kind of like a snowflake. Um, they are created with specs specific to each drive, and that information is stored on that ROM. So if you don't switch the ROM out, it's going to just it's not going to function and you could cause actually more problems by trying to fire it up. Uh, so, you know, and it's not always as simple as that. Um, you know, it, it, you gotta be able to uh, switch that up, but you also have to inspect the rest of the board too and see, make sure it was that the only problem, what else may have caused the problem, but use your smoking board. And a thing to remember, if you have somebody come in and say, Oh, my hard drive is running really hot. Um, you know, when you, if you're in a lab or even at home and you hook power up to this, you know, to see uh, if they're telling the truth, don't hold it close to your face. Um, you know, we've had some here. Um, we do, we call, we smoke test them. A lot of times with drives, we want to plug them in because we don't want them shorting out on our, on our equipment, on our stuff. So plug it into a power supply, flip the switch on. Um, we've had some that burst into a little flame and smoke. Um, you don't want that too close to your face for obvious reasons. So uh, smoke hard drive uh, usually does not indicate any damage on the inside, which is a good thing, um, usually a board. So, uh, you know, not real high difficulty, but again, got to be able to get that chip switched out. If that chip ain't put on there right, um, can cause some damage. So again, as always, great information below. Uh, have any questions, you know, give us a call and um, we'll be more than happy to answer them. All right, thank you.